Hello, this is Rajesh and today I am going to tell you about what are the factors that are controlling the alignment. So let's start. So the factors controlling the alignment So first of all, I am going to define what is the alignment. So alignment is nothing but the position or layout of the center line of the highway on the ground. The position or layout of the center line of the highway on the ground it is called as alignment so what are the factors that controlling the alignments so the factors controlling the alignments are obligatory point obligatory points to traffic third is geometric design fourth one is economics and fifth one is other consideration so first i am going to define what is obligatory points the first point is obligatory point so first of all i am going to define alignment what is the need of alignment for an alignment to be set, it should be a state between two terminal stations. This is not always possible due to various practical difficulties such as obstruction, topographies like this. So the roads are often deviated from the shortest route in order to cater for intermediate places for importance. A road which is economical with lowest initial construction cost need not necessarily be the most economical in maintenance or vehicle operation cost it means if the while we constructing a road if the initial construction is not economical then maintenance and vehicle operation cost will be more so i am going to define now obligatory point so the obligatory points are the control points which govern the alignment of the highway obligatory points also called control point So let's define the obligatory point first. Obligatory points are the control points which govern the alignment. of the highway these points are classified into two different parts or it is having two, two different parts it is having two different 
types or uh, you can say parts it includes points with alignment point with alignment and point with non alignment so the point with alignment means the points through which through which the alignment has to pass and point with non alignment means the points through which the alignment should not pass the points through which alignment should not pass so the points with alignments you can take example mountain pass you can say suitable location of bridge to cross a river suitable location of bridge to cross a river intermediate town you can say next example intermediate town intermediate town so these are the example of point with alignment so a yeah. point with non alignment example are religious places religious places means you can say temple church etc next example very costly structure and it is unsuitable land unsuitable land so the examples clarify that point with non alignment point with non alignment means points through which the alignment should not pass means if the land is unsuitable if the land is very costly its structure is very costly religious places like temples or etc in this positions the points with non alignment means the points through which the alignment should not pass because if 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 the alignment it is passing then the accident will happening more the chances of happening accident accident will more so the second is traffic so the next one about the factor controlling the highway alignments are traffic in in this the alignment should satisfy the requirement of traffic the alignment should satisfy the requirement of traffic means based on the road alignment road alignment should be decided based on the requirement of road traffic you can say our road alignment should be decided based on the requirement of road traffic so the third one 
about the factor controlling high element means element is geometric design so the geometric design satisfied the two points the first point is arrangement of dimension and layouts of highway elements highway elements includes alignment side distance and intersection next point about this is geometric design provides the maximum efficiency in traffic operation along with greater safety at suitable cost so the next point is geometric design of highway provide maximum efficiency in traffic operation along with greatest safety at suitable cost the geometric design should be in horizontal direction so this is the horizontal curve this is the moving vehicles indication so this is the horizontal curve this is the side distance suppose this is opposite vehicles is coming this vehicles is going so this figure is side distance at horizontal curve so while designing or while constructing the road the side distance must be clear the side distance side distance is compulsory to see the opposite vehicles in order to prevent the collision between the two vehicles so the next one is the fourth one is economic economic or economy before moving on the economic or economic uh, geometric design is having the three parts dimension and layout of the highway element side distance alignment intersection side distance is having three parts OSD overtaking side distance ISD intermediate side distance stopping side distance so next move on the economic and economics so the alignment is finalized based on the above factors that i told should also be economical while working out the economics so the alignment finalize based on the above factors should be economical above factor means that i told means 
वन टू थ्री पॉइंट्स वाइल वर्किंग आउट दि इकोनॉमिक्स सो वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट शुड यू कंसिडर इन इकोनॉमिक्स द फैक्टर्स दैट शुड बी कंसाइडल इन इकोनॉमिक्स आर इनिशियल कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉस्ट इनिशियल कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉस्ट ऑफ द रोड एंड रेगुलर एंड पेरियोडिक मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट ऑफ द रोड एंड थर्ड वन इज वेहीकिल ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट वेहीकिल ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट सो मूविंग ऑन द लास्ट वन अदर कंसाइट्रेशन मूविंग ऑन दी अदर कंसाइट्रेशन और अदर एजम्पन सो अदर कंसाइट्रेशन इंक्लूड्स ड्रेनेज कंसाइट्रेशन ड्रेनेज कंसाइट्रेशन मीन्स द रोड शुड बी लाइक दिस सब वो दिस इज द रोड the embankment should be provided in order to prevent the logging of water if water is logging on the road the road will sink down so that water should not be logged on the road so that we have to provide the embankment with a stone pitching so this is the point drainage consideration next point is hydrological factors and third one is political consideration so in this there should not be any political consideration like in village there is much political issues in village so while constructing the road there should not be any political consideration and the fourth one is monotony so these are the factors that affecting the highway alignment or that controlling the highway alignment so while designing the road we have to consider these points in order to increase the life cycle of the road